Okay, hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is a quick one and I'm just gonna give you an analogy of peer pressure. I think peer pressure is a misunderstanding of where we need to be. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, hi there, my name is Ilo or Nomta, whatever feels comfortable for you. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being a real one. If you are just a regular watcher, well, we welcome you too. What can we do? So anyways, guys, what I'm telling you today is just quick, quick facts. Peer pressure should not be a thing. So I've been a victim of peer pressure as well. Just giving in because why not? And I think my biggest mistake is my tongue. I say too much that I don't mean and that's what I've been working on because I've been making this prayer so if you are one like me like you say so much but you actually don't mean it but now because you say that you have to commit so the word of God says put a watch over my tongue oh God guard the doors of my lips because we say so much which then puts us at risk when you say oh I'll try it one day and that one day keeps on postponing until someone's like hello 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 and then because you're trying to be truthful you end up doing it so today what i'm telling you is peer pressure for me looks like me in a bus right so i'm in a bus and because i'm peer pressured would i get off on the wrong stop do you get me like just because people most people are getting off at this stop would i get off on that wrong stop just because well why is everyone getting off do you understand but i will not get off why because firstly i understand that when i got on the bus i knew where the bus was going and i knew that it would pass by my stop right and so the second thing that i understand is i need to get off on my stop because it's the closest place to where i need to be so when i understood this right i then said there's no way then i would just get off with everyone else because that means these people are probably getting off on their right stop but for me it's the wrong one and so when it's my wrong one it means i'll have to walk a longer journey than they do because they actually got off on the right stop but because i got peer pressured out of the bus now i don't have that transport and now i'm stuck trying to figure out how to get to my destination because ultimately i need to get to my destination so that's why we are always trying to say ladies and gentlemen your destiny is different from someone else's destiny but that lack of understanding causes us to sit in on conversations that are none of our business so you find yourself talking to someone who completely does not understand you and has different values and you're still saying you know what there's a future here and i think the biggest mistake that we make is taking assignments and putting them into our friend zone into whatever zones that we want to classify them as instead of doing the job that we're meant to do with an assignment iron sharp is iron so if sharp iron is mixed with wood it becomes blood as well right but if it's mixed with iron it's sharper so what i'm saying is make sure you find alignment with people that are moving the same direction and don't get off before you stop just because some people are getting off sometimes when we mix with the wrong crowd too much we end up thinking that maybe i'm doing too much and it's crazy because when you actually meet the right crowd you'll be surprised how far behind you are and so if you find yourself mingling with people that don't make you feel encouraged to go in any way ask yourself am i in the right room and like i said when you have clarity you are able to stand up and be like i'm sorry what's being served is not on my diet and your diet should be the word of god so when you know what god requires of you when you know what you need to be doing in obedience to god's will then everything else that doesn't make sense should be an easy no-go area for you and like what i said if you are easily put into peer pressure ask yourself would you get off on the wrong stop just because someone else is getting off or you would focus on the bigger goal because it means you have to walk to the actual destination which is unnecessary when you could have just sat patiently and waited for your turn to get off some people will be blessed before you but that doesn't mean anything the word of god says do not envy sinners hey guys honestly speaking right what my my main story today is is Peer pressure should not be a thing for you, child of God. You are okay where you are and God will lift you up. God is not slow to answer you. He is patient with you. He knows the vision of you that will be ready for the blessing that he has for you. And after all, don't worry about how quickly others get there. The word of God says, the race is not to the swift. Ah! Yo! So whatever, like even if they look like they're moving quicker than you, they're doing more than you, 
if it's your time to shine god will make you shine you don't need to suffer you don't need to suffer that's what i'm gonna tell you so don't be peer pressured into things that look like fun but in the end lead to destruction don't be peer pressured into believing that there is so much that you should be seeing out on when you know exactly where you need to be like you know where you're going so why are you getting second thoughts of where you need to end up like just trust the driver <laughs> trust the web trust the driver trust god trust the word so with that being said guys enjoy the rest of your day see you next time bye